So, hello and welcome back to another episode of USS4. We are of course playing with the Ambana Fantasy mod, as Plumstead. As we are currently doing a war against the Drake, and, uh, well, they are currently standing around menacingly. <laughs> it's the only thing that's currently happening. I'm probably just gonna get myself uh, some dudes. Like some extra dudes, the regular guns, why not? Just so that I... That there's no risk of them just charging into me. Or are they gonna do something stupid? This looks like they're gonna log into this. Who's attacking this group? This 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 5k gru group here is just waltzing into that. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, there's a reinforcement tick. Here we go. Wow. Wow! <laughs> Alright. I mean, we did win it, uh, after all. So... There's no reason to, uh... <laughs> be too worried, but... It's definitely not the, the nicest situation. Didn't even need these guys, I guess. So, where are you guys going? Actually, this is one thing I something I wanted to check. I don't have a friend for this. I might want a friend for this, <laughs> to be honest. Seeing that there's uh, such massive groups uh, slapping me down, I feel like I should do something about it. I also really want to extend this war in any way or shape. To be completely honest. I spend a lot of money on it. Uh, we don't care. This is something that I also want to check at some point. How are we looking merchant-wise? I feel like we could... Oh no, wait, this is not even connected, right? Forgot about that part. Let's continue on. Now, these guys have... Hold on a second. 100k dudes. Uh, this is going on its own, we don't need to worry about that. And there's a rebellion debate. We care not too much about any narrative. Manpower curry speed, prestige decay and more influence. Manpower curry speed never hurts. And we want more tolerance, we're gonna go full tolerance, screw it. <laughs> so. These should stand here. We have... we have... okay, we could technically double stack that. Let's do that before anyone runs into us. It's gonna cost us a lot of manpower, but well... What are we gonna do about it? What am I gonna do about it? They are just charging in with a... Uh, they're just getting all their numbers back in. They declared this goddamn war. It's not my fault. I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, doing things here. Ah, that's your job. Zoom. Is this also Chang? Okay, this is also Chang. Oh, there's 10% discipline. I think they might not be too keen on doing war now. Well, let's crush him. God damn it. Seventy eight percent. There we go. All right, you guys deal with this as well. We're still doing a lot of coring, it seems. I wasn't even aware of that still being thing. But yeah, we did have uh, the thingy happening there. Uh, we also need to wait for this to be freed. I mean, what are we gonna even getting out of this money? Don't really care too much. Nope. 
So, we are also getting somewhere up there. Uh, no immediate uh, rebelling. Okay. Seems like we also split their armies and they're not willing to put their armies around together. That's a bit odd, not gonna lie. So. Currently have all of this extra discipline. Uh, we're gonna take this either way. There we go. One of them seems to be also a lot faster. Okay, we're at 33%. Uh, level 3 advisor. Let's check this missionary strength guy. We are also full on Diplo points. Oh. Well, we can change that. So, we're missing a Diplo idea group, right? Uh. What are we taking here? Rotation, disloyalty stuff. No, not really. Feels a bit late. We take merchant ideas, uh, trade ideas. I mean, it doesn't feel that great. I guess let's just take it. Just make money. Uh, broken seed. It sounds like I'm gonna collect here as well. <laughs> and maybe we'll get a decent place to do things. Guess I would like to rip them apart, get her off some stuff back. Why not? Screw you. Also, seems like our idea costs are very cheap. <laughs> not gonna lie. Advisor, death cost, just production, merchant, mercantilism. Oh, stability! We have stability. Mill points, we have. Uh, I mean, this one wouldn't necessarily hurt. Yeah. Let's try this. Corruption, minting rights, minting rights. Uh, we do have enough money for this. Minting rights. I think that wouldn't hurt. These four. And I guess we're just gonna get this stuff in. Do 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 do. Oh. Ah, you're locked in. Pull then. Someone has lost a leader. It was me, obviously, but. <laughs> you guys come here. You guys come here. No, oh, here. You guys come here instead. Now oh, look at that! The raggedy guns are getting something chunky in. Good for them, good for them. Yeah, let's do this stuff. I mean, we're not. This is when very good stuff, right? At forty-six, we're also kind of really chucking down the, that manpower, aren't we? Cruelty of mercenaries. Uh, I guess I'll take the army professionalism just to make my life more expensive. Luckily enough, I'm rich, so I'm not too worried. You have a lot of troops, what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you? What? Uh, uh, you guys run over here. Okay. We are slowly but surely advancing. You are gonna run here. I mean, this is draining all of our manpower. You guys have also ended your war already. I should probably start that then. 16k and then these guys are also part of it. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna uh, do this war soon. Okay, you guys are just running past me. That is for me my uh, often enough indicator that I probably should be done soon. Uh, so I win, right? This is... This is jungle. So mine. Oh, there's. Okay, there's. There's another uh, big stack. Can we get these guys sad? Is the question. Oh, they're 
I'm making some progress and if they're beating this down to two percent let's wait for one more monthly tick <sighs> okay yeah we're gonna end this here I don't see any reason for me to extend this war can I humiliate you? If I get less money? Yeah, I can. Good. So, hope was fun. We have more wars to do. We're just quickly gonna do this and this. We probably also should check for uh, friends. At this point, because if we're getting attacked, that is usually not very healthy. But of course... There is none. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, let's continue on the usual stuff. Uh, we don't have anything special to do, as far as I remember. We are just kind of... Waiting for conquest with the with this side. This one was we need to eclipse uh, Sunlip, and we need artificer loyalty. Oh, artificer loyalty. You had fifty one. We're gonna keep doing this. Eccentric minds. Every university has its own culture. Some, universi some universities are more rigid and strict, focusing on structured and by the books research to ensure quality. Or does promote creativity and initiative as long as it helps the nation and the university. The University of the Dame, on the other hand, has a more hands-off approach and allows the most eccentric and bizarre ideas and theories to be tested. Where there's a theory of practical application, all are welcome in Plumstead. All who enroll at the UOTD, whether the structured or chaotic, share one goal. The betterment of, of society and the discovery of the truth. Yippee! So... The UTD has an, in all its years of existence shaped many students to become geniuses in a myriad of fields. From engineers who make crazy inventions which confuse even the most well-learned technician, to the creation to completely new economic models like physiocratic theory, which marries the importance of agriculture and the value of the ground with the well-being of a state. Other advances are made in, uh, in fields like archaeology, or more importantly to for Plumstead, agriculture. There is no other place in the world where more new crops and breeds are invented each year than Plumstead. Agriculture is the UOTD, not just something which gives people food. It is a field of science which is to be fully explored and mapped. Just a few examples of latest inventions are the carousel. Uh, didn't we already have the carousel? <laughs> Whatever. A spinning platform with seatings in the shape of horses, wagons, luxurious carriages, and even a donkey and a pig with a clown on top which form a motley parade that goes around and, that goes round and round. While it spins, it automatically plays a carnivalesque tune to lighten the mood. Perfect for the entertainment of children or foreign dignitaries. Endura Reigns. The Endura Reigns are born out of frustration of one particular student who constantly fell off his horse when he had to, to take long trips from home to the UTD and back. The Endura Reigns not only strap in the rider more tightly, it also allows the rider to automatically move the reins to steer a horse or have it go quicker or slower without having to use any muscle strength at all. The reins also come equipped with one out of food or snack dispenser for the horse, so they also get an advantage out of it. Everlasting Fertilizer When Florian Halter was young, he worked out on the farm of his uncle. And the only problem his uncle always feared was soil degradation. Later, Florian would make it, uh, make it his mission to end this fear for every farmer by inventing a special artificed granule, which would constantly feed nutrition into the soil without degrading over time. While the expense of this granule is revolutionary, it not only prevents soil degradation, but also allows us to plant farms in infertile ground. So, tell me which of these is more important. <laughs> so the carousel gives us Dibbler reputation. Uh, we get more recovery uh, ratio and uh, uh, land maintenance. Or we get... Oh, God. We are not, we're not political, so the carousel is out. This would be funny, but I'm not really... Like, the thing is, my horses are not strong. 10%, that's it. I see no reason to do this. I'm gonna take the development cost reduction. Thank you very much. 
How much does it cost? 10? Only 10? Okay, well, it, I think it is better than this one, I can tell you. So, boop, boop. Alright, and now we just have to get these guys in order. Everything else is already kind of looking alright. The Ancestors of Sada event. I think that's the one that triggers with the golden thingy? No. I don't know. Okay, more influence. Very cool. Uh, do we do anything funny? I mean, what can we even pump up? We have Merkelism, we have that. We could just work on stats, right? Stuff is still getting converted automatically, which is quite cool. We continue our upgrading stuff here. We have we have money spent every to spend everywhere. It's not that bad. Uh, I don't care about that at all. We are not losing our stability, no matter what. So we are just gonna continue with this war. There's no need to wait. You guys just march in, see what you can do. You kill that. Why do we have so much information about the uh, Lake Federation actually? <laughs> it, it, it feels a bit odd. Like, we are not like the closest. Oh, look at that. Someone popped up. Oh well. Uh, let's might as well just take care of these guys. You guys go for the next thing, just start taking all of this stuff out while you guys try to catch these. These hands. There's still something to colonize, so I'm still willing to get a get away from the... Uh, the thingy and get a colonist in, the free colonist from Adventuring Council. We can switch back at some point, but as long as we need a colonist, we need a colonist. Simple as that. So we're definitely gonna grab what we have claims on, obviously. There's no question about that. Oh right, this also needs a fort. Well, I guess I should have done that at some point. Gives me claims on uh, these areas here, well we're just taking that anyway. And then we need to dig into Adek Brun, right? This is a lot of in into Adek Brun. And this is basically it, right? Do you have no other conquest missions for me? Doesn't look like it at all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, we are gonna do this one again. So. There we go. And you guys are then just gonna move over. Uh, merchant trade power, why not? I'm still gonna conquer all of this. Like, I see no reason why I, should, why I shouldn't do it. <laughs> That feels silly not to do. So, wherever these guys are, I'll just keep occupying stuff. Uh, so let's see if you are sad enough. Yep. Costs a bit extra diplo, but who cares? Coring it is. We have 70%. Okay, so I feel like we just need to get a fort here, and then we are done. Let's see where these their armies are hiding. There they are. Still should have the discipline bonus, right? That should have not run out yet. So, I mean, it's more like now we are gonna delete the armies. There we go. 
Uh, and we are literally just saying, hey, we're gonna take everything, screw it. Or rather, we're gonna take what makes sense, uh, just from the thingy. Because this gets locked here. So we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna do this. We're probably also gonna do this, so we have this open, yep. Yeah. Saying no to that at the moment. It's not gonna involve anybody anyway. We need to wait for this fort to fall, I assume. Alright, we also continue on, on that. So this is cheap stuff anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean... I don't need to really need to tell these guys to do anything else. You can go home. You cannot convert anymore. Okay. We're nearly even getting past this fucking river agreement. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> sure. So. We'll just take that. Thank you very much. Culture shift, sure. We have a lot of stuff to spend now. Didn't have much, to be honest. Sure, well. Unfortunate. Let's do this. And then let's focus on getting all of this new stuff caught. We are also gonna... Uh, we have enough points, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Would you be like this one doesn't I mean it gives us religious unity. That's what it does. That's about it. It does technically also the plums that the technocracy thingy, which we're not using. Let's get back to back to the adventuring council. <laughs> we're not done yet. There's work to do. I guess it's time to focus on admin. We're also getting closer towards another army, just so that we can st finally start eclipsing all of these guys. I think it's also time that we start building town halls. Let's do this with every hundred, uh, with every thousand. We're gonna start clicking that. Well, that's the one thing that I actually just want to mention, like wondering when, did this, when that is going to come around again. I guess we could do uh, a, a dam improvement, why not? It does do a lot of stuff anyway, and then we can do this. <coughs> Lovely! In the meantime, the dry key is just quickly annihilating... Uh, <laughs> Vanbury Guild, sure. That's not my problem to deal with. So these guys are just waiting for that. You're just, yeah, coring, coring. We need to fight Arik Prun. And Arik Prun is unpleasant. At least we're getting constantly this, the, this extra admin. That's something, I guess. Oh, we are back at a thousand again. Yeah, like I said, this is gonna go fast. We have done, we have locked off this, this this one is technically also useless, this fort. There's nothing here. Yeah. I mean, for some reason they want me to build a fort here, but I guess whatever. These two are forted up. Yeah, first fort K, uh, uh fort Hekai. How are you guys looking? You had a 200k. I need a strong ally. <laughs> Though there is really nothing. So Nikant is basically gone at this point. I would like to eclipse Sunlip, finally, so that we can do something there, but... Apparently not. So, what's this? Oh, there we go. The western bank of the Yin River is by many called the dark side of the river. Not because it is land gloomy or filled with monsters, but because there are many large cities or settlements. Such taking it should be a relatively easy task, as lords of the Yin will not fight as hard for this region as they would on the eastern bank. Let's take the western bank and lighten its people. This is just claims, right? Yeah, nothing special. 
Uh, we have uh, too much meal. So let's do this a little bit more just so that we have something going on. We're also gonna do this. There is more to do after all. Plenty of uh, stuff that we need to reduce. Are we actually really like fast now? No, we're not. We're just not doing anything really. <laughs> there we go. This one's also done, crossing the river. All of our eastward expansion has led to the moment we control the river. Two of its dams and the lands that lie between. The lower yin is now under the ban of Blumstead from the crossing at Adra Bovi up to Velspaka, we rule in Rome. Our new subjects integrate into our realm, the traditions of religions respected and accepted, and we stand as a true and permanent master of the Sada. Okay, this is just claims everywhere, and we're immediately done with this as well. Convincing the unconvinced. When we arrived in Alantir, we did not care for the religious traditions of the local population. Instead, we granted them autonomy and even protected their right to religious freedom. But now the times have changed and solely have our religious principles. We will need everybody in our realm to be working hard if we are to achieve our goal of unraveling the main secrets of Sada hold. Many secret Sada holds. We should grant direct the missionaries permits to set up missions alongside the trade routes in Sada and spread the faith so efficiently and thoroughly as possible. Every nook and granny of Sada must be enlightened by the truth of the one true God. Yeah, this feels so weird. Like this feels such such a crazy switch of a uh, 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 thingy. God wills it. Are oh, we enlightened? We don't do anything. We don't do anything. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Religious war, religious war. <laughs> That's basically what happened here. <coughs> and I'm not a big fan of it. So we're gonna finish this up for another merchant. Uh, let me just quickly check. Uh, like, everything floats out, right? Yeah. <laughs> Collect. <laughs> no worries, we will, we will own this place soon enough. As soon as we have like this control, this would actually be alright anyway. So, but we are cleaning this up slowly but surely. Oh, we don't. We didn't get anything here that's interesting, right? Merchant regiment cost trade efficiency and movement speed. Uh, well, never mind then. Uh, nothing here. Oh, separatism, unrest. No. Nope, nope, nope. Deine Gewalt ist nur ein stummer Schrei nach Liebe. Alright, all slowly but surely filling up. We do have other things to do. Uh, Temarin, shame, one, two, three. So let's do all of this, obviously. Hey, if you think uh, we get even more match, uh, sure. Uh, this stuff we just. Uh, I mean, I guess at this point, 200 is not much. So, you're getting beaten up by someone else. Yep. Someone that I should probably should also tag. We have claims on the whole Sada region now anyway. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, Dund is attacking us. This might be actually going bad. We'll see. <coughs> Let's get into position. Let's also get our Raggedy Knights. Raggedy Gun Knights, I'm sorry. They're not even getting any bonuses towards uh, that anyway, so whatever. So this is going to be purely defensive. The question is now how strong their armies are. They have quality ideas, they have quantity ideas. Damn. <laughs> they have discipline bonus. Okay. Uh, that doesn't look too bright. Uh, can we quickly jump into this? This is swamp. I'm not sure where the rest of your armies are, but this feels like I should take the opportunity as soon as possible. There we go. Won that fight. Good. Back into position. 
Uh, this is still getting caught, so... What kind of war is this? Which is a priority? Holy war. Oh, alright. Uh, this is why you guys are around. I mean, if, if they're going so uh, into my territory so uncontrolled, I'm willing to, to get uh, these fights rolling, right? Uh, you are locked in already. This is a bad fight here, but I've already started it, so... God damn it. That was bad. That was very bad. Uh, let's... Spread out. Uh, someone is also gonna desiege that, so... Uh, we don't have money for this, but I'll take points anyway, so... Who cares? Boop. These guys have lots of numbers. Uh, I also will uh, end this episode here anyway, so I go away, subscribe, and again, so I guess you guys next episode. Bye!